Howdy guys, Rod here, and um, I did promise you a home brew, a short home brew wine video. So uh, what I'm going to do, this is actually the wine that we brewed last year, it's um, rose that wine, and I made a wee bit of a mistake, we did something called black, uh, back sweetening, and I'm just going to open this and you've got to watch out because it's actually ended up being bubbly wine. So I'm just going to pour it. It's called decanting. Because what happens with homebrew wine is you end up with a wee bit of shit in the bottom of the bottle. And so I'm just going to pour this wine out. There's nothing like talking about homebrew wine and actually drinking a little bit while you're doing the video. So while I'm pouring this, I'd just like to say thank you to everyone for the birthday wishes on Facebook today. It's nice to know that people still love you. And I'm going to pour myself a bottle, a glass. I've actually only got about five bottles of this left. So cheers. It always tastes better at this end. And oh yes, that tastes lovely. So that was last year's wine, and what you can see here, and if, by the way, if you get bored listening to me, you can just watch the bubbles. So what this here is this year's wine, and I'll very quickly describe how we made it. So out in the garden, we are growing grapes. Now I don't actually think they're wine grapes, they're supposed to be eating grapes, but anyway, we managed to pick two huge bucket loads of grapes and with the help of Grace and Ashley we crushed the grapes and once we crushed the grapes we put some Camden tablets and killed off all the wild yeast and um, bugs from the grandchildren's fingers <laughs> and then we filtered that through a sieve so basically the grapes got crushed the wild yeast were killed and then it got filtered through here into this brewing bucket. And then we added, um, I just need another drink, hang on. Oh, that's beautiful. And then we added lots and lots of sugar. Homebrew wine needs a bit of sugar. And to measure the amount of sugar, we use something called a hydrometer. Now this actually floats in the wine you pour the wine into this flask and that will float up to a certain level and so I put it down about there and when it's finished it'll be there that's how you know how much sugar is in the solution so I've got quite a sugary brew this time so I don't need to do any back sweetening so we added five kilos of sugar crushed grapes and then we put in a little packet of yeast, six dollars forty I paid for that, and that's the whole cost, and we'll probably get about twenty to twenty-five bottles of wine. So isn't that a bloody fantastic way of doing it? And then this will brew away and bubble away for about the next two or three months, and then we decant it off, let it sit in a cool place so the yeast dies off. I may even build a little fridge and put it in there to cool it off and let all the yeast die. And then you let it set, settle for another two or three months. And when everything's settled, you decant it off and bottle it up and put labels on the bottles like that. So there you go, guys. That's uh, homebrew wine this year from Marnie and I using our own grapes. Have a taste of this, Marnie.